So today's recipe for small batch snickerdoodle cheesecake bars are a triple threat. They have all the flavor of a snickerdoodle cookie with the creaminess of a cheesecake and the texture of a blondie. Now, I love a good brownie, but truth be told, I will pick a blondie over a brownie any day. And when you combine it with one of my favorite cookies, a snickerdoodle and the creaminess of a cheesecake, these snickerdoodle cream cheese bars are hard to resist. Okay, we're going to start these cheese uh, snickerdoodle bars by making our cinnamon sugar, all right? And we're going to use a half of a tablespoon of sugar and then about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. If you like things really cinnamony, use a little bit more cinnamon, all right? So we just have our cinnamon sugar mixed up. We're going to set that aside and we're going to start with the snickerdoodle part. So for our snickerdoodle layer, we're going to use three tablespoons of softened butter. I am using salted butter. If you're using unsalted, just add a pinch of salt in. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of brown sugar and make sure you pack it in. And then a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And then we're just gonna take a hand mixer. You can totally do this by hand if you don't have a hand mixer. Um, I find it's not enough ingredients to really use a stand mixer. So you want to either use a, an electric hand mixer or just do it by hand. But you just want to combine your sugar and your butter until it's nice and fluffy. And one other trick I find with these smaller batch recipes, they have a tendency to kind of jump around the bowl. I put, and the bowl has a tendency to jump. I put my bowl on a towel and then use your hand mixer just at like a medium speed. Don't go too high, you're going to end up with ingredients all over. All right, next we're going to add in our egg and we're going to add in two tablespoons of beaten egg, not a whole egg. It'll taste too eggy if you do. I find that in a large egg, there's usually about four tablespoons of egg. And so we'll use two in here and then we're going to add the other two into our um, cheesecake layer. There we go. All right. Then we're going to use a half of a cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour a quarter teaspoon get my salt here I guess I need some more salt almost gone and then an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda all right and then we're just gonna mix that up until just all the dry ingredients are combined it's really easy with these smaller batch recipes sometimes to over mix them so just mix until you don't see any more dry flour if you find that your dough is a little bit dry and it's not coming together, you want it to be like the consistency of chocolate chip cookie dough, go ahead and just add in like a quarter teaspoon of water to start with until the dough comes together and looks like cookie dough. All right, so we're going to use a nine by five baking pan. I have lined it with a parchment, what we call sling. And if you missed my last video, I'm gonna put it right up there. In there, I show you how to cut the parchment paper because Lining it with parchment paper, blah, that's a tongue twister, makes it so much easier to remove your bar cookies out of the pan versus just greasing it and trying to get them out. That is totally an option if you don't have parchment paper, but if you've got parchment paper, it's the way to go. All right, so now we're going to take two-thirds of our dough here, or approximately two-thirds, and we because we're going to reserve the rest of it to go on top of our snickerdoodle bars. All right, you just want to press it down into an even layer. It's not going to be a very thick layer. It's fairly thin. And if you find you, maybe your dough is a little too sticky, go ahead and just add some flour to your hands. I've got a little flour here, and that'll help you to spread it without the dough sticking to your fingers. All right, then we are going to set this aside, and we are going to make the cheesecake layer. So for our cheesecake layer, we're going to use four ounces, which is half of a block of softened cream cheese, and I'm using full-fat cream cheese. We're gonna add in the remaining of our beaten egg, which should be about two tablespoons. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, which I never measure, I measure with my heart. And then two tablespoons of granulated sugar. One, two. All right, and then we're gonna take our hand mixer again, and we're gonna mix this up till it's nice and creamy and smooth. So we are ready to assemble these. I've got two thirds of my dough in the bottom there. And I am gonna take that cinnamon sugar mixture we made and I'm gonna just take half of it and sprinkle it over the top of 
the dough there. And then we're gonna take that cream cheese layer mixture we just made, and it's gonna get spread on top of the snickerdoodle layer that is in the pan. All right, and I find, let me go grab it, the best thing to use is an offset spatula. All right, here we go. Offset spatula makes it really easy, especially down in this loaf pan to get things spread in an even layer. All right, then we're gonna take the rest of that cinnamon sugar, sprinkle it over that, and then all we got left is the remaining dough. And we're gonna just take this and kind of break it into little pieces, and I kind of just flatten them out a little bit with my fingers and place them over the top. Now, it's not gonna cover over the top totally, but as it bakes, it will expand and grow together. Then we are going to bake it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 35 minutes. Check it at 30 minutes. You want it just to be nice and golden brown and just still slightly jiggly in the middle. All right, our snickerdoodle cheese cake bars are done. You can see how I just was able to lift them right out of the pan thanks to that little parchment sling. I'm going to remove the parchment and now all you have left to do is to slice them. Now I like to slice them into four bars, but you know, you can do eight, whatever you like. Now, if you do per, per chance have any um, of these uh, left over, you're going to want to keep them refrigerated because of that cheesecake layer. You see that right there? So good. Snickerdoodle cheesecake bars, all that goodness, cheesecake, blondie, snickerdoodle cookie, all in one. Give them a try. Let me know what you think. And if there's ever a bar cookie you'd like to see in small batch form, go ahead and leave me a comment and I would love to do a video for it. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen and I'll see you in the next video.